Welcome to Waldo County's Bayside town of Stockton Springs. With a population of 1,533, this little town is full of activities, places to go, and great things to see. From Fort Point State Park, Sandy Point Beach Park, Stockton Harbor, Stockton Harbor Yurts, French's Point, Mount Tuck Preserve, and two great restaurants, we are just getting started. Let's begin with Fort Point State Park. Just a short drive from Route 1, this state park was a bit of a surprise for what was there and what wasn't there. If you are expecting a fort similar to this Fort Knox in Prospect, Maine, you'll be disappointed. Disappointed. On the other hand, Fort Knox doesn't have a cool lighthouse and bell tower. Also, the last time I was at Fort Knox, my Fitbit said I walked several miles, whereas Fort Point State Park is quite compact, and even the walk to the secluded picnic tables and the waterfront pier was just a short jaunt. That said, from this park you can hike the seven-mile loop around Cape Jellison. This is a park for relaxing, hiking, fishing from the pier, catching a glimpse into the history of Maine and the U.S. as there are plaques, or interpretive panels as they call them. If you use your imagination, you can transform the dugouts and the foundation to scenes of the past and visualize the struggle the former soldiers had against the weather and other nations, be them native or from across the Atlantic. Now, for you parents that have young ones, you may be quite pleased with the adventure down the pathways to the outdoor bathrooms. Why, when I visited the little brown hut, I was greeted by these fresh eggs. Nothing says you are in Maine like finding a nest in the privy. Let's move on to Sandy Point Beach. Another popular destination is Sandy Point Beach, which is not that far from Fort Point, just at the conclusion of Steamboat Wharf Road. There you are apt to see the seals on Autumn's Ledge at low tide, or the osprey tending their offspring in their nests. At the beach, there are a number of trails. The trail with the blue blazes is the Amazon Trail, which is approximately 1.1 mile long. There is also the Shore Loop Trail, which has white blazes and is about a half a mile long. If you find red blazes, you are on Crystal Lynn Cove Trail, which is about 0.3 miles. For another short walk is the Bluff Trail. Find the yellow blazes, and you'll be traveling about 0.3 miles. Looking out in the bay, you will see the remains of Steamboat Wharf, where the Boston to Bangor packet came and went during the 20th century. Being the main coast, you are likely to see loons, eagles, cormorants, eiders, terns, seagulls, buffleheads, and of course, the state of Maine bird, the chickadee. Lastly, there are the refreshing waters of the Penobscot Bay and the Penobscot River to escape the heat of summer when we have it. Now let's hop on over to Stockton Harbor. Here you will enjoy the adorable sights of working vessels, pleasure boats, and perhaps a fisherman or two. Or you could take a ride on the water with Bug and Me Boat Tours. They offer various packages from an hour and a half sunrise or sunset cruise to the real Mainer experience of being on a vessel pulling commercial lobster and crab pots. Doesn't that sound exciting? Next, and just up the hill, is the Stockton Harbor Yurts. Seriously, what town doesn't want a place to sleep in a yurt now and then? Bonus, one that has an expansive waterfront. Just 15 minutes from Belfast, it is private, safe, and a peaceful natural camping site. Want some natural light? You've come to the right place. You can check them out at StocktonHarborYurts.com. Now let's move down the road a bit to French's Point. From vacation rentals to celebrations, weddings to reunions, French's Point is one of the top venues in Maine for your next event. The estate can be rented in total or in part, as there are numerous houses with varying capacities, from 50 to 100 guests as an average, or even to their maximum of 200 guests. French's Point will leave you with lasting memories 
and remarkable views, pleasant host, scrumptious food, all on an incredible estate. They have the rental house with six suites, the farmhouse with 12 suites, and the beach house with eight suites ready to sweep you off your feet. Check them out on fpmain.com. Are you a hiking enthusiast? Stockton Springs has you covered at the Mount Tuck Trail and Preserve. It is just off Route 1 on the Meadow Road. The moderate walk will provide you with eastern views. The hike takes you through a mix of aged forests. Now, historically speaking, in the mid of the late 19th century, Stockton Springs was bustling with a carding machine, two lathe mills, three shingle mills, and four sawmills, a tannery, four shipyards, six blacksmiths, a cheese factory, and much more. For more information, visit the Stockton Springs Historical Society located at Colcord House, 6 Station Street, Stockton Springs. Now let's talk about restaurants. Principally, there there are two main restaurants in town. Just Barb's is on the corner of Route 1 and East Main Street. Full disclosure, I have not had the pleasure of eating at either of the two restaurants, but want to because the reviews on Yelp Dot com are convincing. There you will read about Just Barb's, and I quote, I had a blueberry milkshake, young, cheese sticks. My husband had a lobster roll with fries. The menu was a wide range of items from lots of seafood to pork chops, chicken fingers, Alfredo, and more. The inside has a casual diner feel, and the service was incredible. Very friendly waitress and waiter. What a great review. Next is the Hitchborn, which is just down the hill from the community church, just off Route 1 on Church Street. Again, check out the reviews on Yelp. There you will read, Outstanding service, unique and delicious four-course meals. Best meal I've had in a long time. What a rave review. Now I have a question for you. Do you want to see more videos like this? Well then, please hit the subscribe and the like buttons, and we'll see you on the next video. Yep, thank you for watching.